Hey YouTube, Len Tycons here doing a retro action figure review. Now, this is something I picked up uh, while I was in Dublin, over here in Ireland. Um, I went to Dublin Comic Con, and before I went to Comic Con, I had to stop in one of my favourite shops I like to stop up in, in Dublin, which is Dublin City Comics. Um, if you're a fan of my channel and you're in Ireland and you, you probably know of them, uh, if not, check out their website, Dublin City Comics. Um, I think it's .ie or .com. I might throw a link in the description below for this. But I picked this guy up in there and it wasn't too bad. It was only 15 quid, which is really good. And what this is, if you're not familiar with it, is it is the Hudson figure, which was a UK Europe exclusive from the Aliens Kenner line. Now, this is quite an old line. This is going back to the early 90s. So this is nearly a 20 year old, if not, I think it is a 20 year old figure anyway at this stage, could be older. And he is in very good condition. Uh, the only thing is his hips are a little bit loose, so he does tend to fall over a bit or fall backwards because of his oversized giant backpack. Now, I posted this up on one of the Facebook groups and I did post an interesting question about this guy. I was wondering if this backpack piece has been reused somewhere else before because the main thing I see about it is that it has these two handles on the front. Now, if you were to remove these two handles, it wouldn't make any difference to the backpack. Yeah, you still have the clip, but it's designed in such a way that these two handles are on the on the front. Now, someone uh, there was a few people that said on the on the post that that originally he might have been designed to have different hands or different arms. Uh, these figures are pretty much five points of articulation, so they're not super articulated. But this is the, you know, he was in a UK exclusive or UK European exclusive of Hudson. There was a US version that came as packaged as part of another exclusive, which was the KB Toys exclusives. And I think he came versus the Scorpion Alien, if I remember correctly. And he was done in more traditional movie style colors or kind of... Um, greens and uh, camo pattern whereas this one had its own unique colors now the gimmick with this backpack is quite cool you slide this down and then you just launch these bomb things or whatever you want to call them he just launches them out and then to restock them you just slide them into the larger area and they just re connect onto his body or onto the backpack so if i take off his backpack it is removable um what is also really good about this is he even still had his bio data card which is really cool and you can see it's done in multiple languages on the back as an image of the figure on the front and then on the back it says speciality tracker home planet tanka 5 background six cents for hunting out the aliens strong survival instinct and then the quote was i don't always like what i find but i always find it so he did have a little bio card and he also came with a non kind of gimmicky weapon which is this kind of almost laser rifle looking thing which is pretty cool and he can hold it in he can really only hold it in one hand he can't hold it in his offhand, unfortunately. Now, if the body for this guy looks very familiar, uh, he even has a peg hole on the side for him to put the gun onto. There's peg holes on the back, and you can hold it on that. But I think it's designed to go on his knee. But I don't want to push in too much in case it snaps. But you can put it on that when the backpack is off, so you can hold it that way. Now, as I was going to say, if this guy looks very familiar... It's because he was a repaint and a re-sculpt of this guy, which is the Epon figure from the Aliens line. You see the same legs, same arms, everything is the same except for the head sculpt. He even has a big biomechanical arm. And this guy actually had a spring gimmick. He even had his own little, I think this is supposed to be a shotgun in on the Kenner, or sorry, on the um, NECA one, they turned into a shotgun, so I'm not sure if it's supposed to be that, but he has like a laser rifle that can plug into his um, port on his leg. Now, there's two pegs on, or peg holes on the back of this guy, and he came with these really rubber um, grenades that he would toss, which is where this 
kind of spring gimmick came into place you'd hold them on that and it would fling them just like he did with his gun but unfortunately because of the material they're made out of they've deteriorated quite rapidly they're like a almost gold plastic syndrome but they're not they're more of a gold rubber syndrome so there is that and for the other figure that was exclusive to the uk and uh europe was this one which is vasquez vasquez or vasquez i think you pronounce her name i'm probably butchering the pronunciation so uh, there was a US version of her, which was, again, exclusive to KB Toys. She came with the Night Panther alien. Or, yes, I think it was the Night Panther or the Night Cougar she came versus, which is a sil black and silver redeco of the Panther alien with the fi uh, firing, um, whatchamacallit, the firing parasite. Unfortunately, I do not have any of the gear for her. So if someone out there who watches, who happens to watch this uh, video has the missing gear, I would appreciate if you'd like want to donate it, it would be great. So I could complete her. She would have come with a backpack with three missiles on it that would fire off. And she also came with a pulse rifle, which is interesting because she was the only Marine in the entire line to actually have a pulse rifle, uh, which is interesting considering everyone in the marines used pulse rifles technically except for her at the start of the movie she was a smart gunner she did use i think a pulse rifle later on in the movie but like for the to more the more iconic image of her is with the is smart gun over pulse rifle so it is interesting to note that but overall he's a really good figure um again unfortunately secondary price market for these guys for the UK ver versions of them are kind of uh, insane, but I managed to find this one for 15 euros and I just couldn't pass it pass on it. So it is a cool looking figure. He does fit well with the rest of the range. Uh, even if you have the KB Toys versions of them, they do fit quite nicely. Unfortunately, I don't have any in my vehicles at hand. Show me it. If I remember correctly, I think he was on the artwork for the hover tread. I think he was piloting it. It could have been the Hicks figure was piling in it. I'm pretty sure it might have been Hudson. But overall, it's a good figure. So, there you go, guys. <coughs> Excuse me. There you go, guys. I hope you enjoyed this quick video review. And hope you find this video interesting. So, please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And hope you see you in the next video. Cheers, guys.